Hello everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today our topic is Dynamic Trunking Protocol. Well, Dynamic Trunking Protocol is a Cisco property. What? It is a Cisco property that can only work on, or on what? The Cisco devices, right? And it is used to automate the configuration of trunk link. So before going to discuss about the DTP, you must understand what is a trunk link. So trunk links are the connection between the multiple switches, okay, that carries the traffic for the multiple VLANs. So that is means you can forward the multiple VLAN information through the trunk link. So let's go, uh, get back to our Cisco packet tracer again. Here you will find that I have created a network. Okay, so this PC, PC0 is the part of VLAN2. PC3 is the part of VLAN3. Uh, this PC is the part of VLAN3. And this PC is the part of VLAN4. Okay, simultaneously first PC on the other switch is the part of VLAN2. Second switch is the part of VLAN3. And third is the part of VLAN4. So what I want to do that the information from the VLAN2 can only be forwarded to the VLAN2 PC on other switch, right? And the channel is only a single channel by which all the data will be forwarded. That is means that VLAN2 data must be forwarded through single link and must be carried out or forwarded to the VLAN2 only. The data from VLAN3 must be forwarded to the switch and multiplex here. And after that, the data must be reached to what? VLAN3. The data generated by VLAN4 must be forwarded to VLAN4 without disturbing other departments. Okay. But the problem is that we have three VLAN here. VLAN2, VLAN3, VLAN4. And three VLAN on this side, VLAN234. But the data channel through which all the data will be forwarded is a single channel. So how you can able to forward the three VLAN information through a single channel by creating this a trunk link. When you will create a trunk link on this link, what will happen that it can able to carry the multiple VLAN information from, from VLAN 1 to VLAN 4095. So it can able to forward multiple VLAN information from this range to this range. Okay. So how could you can create the create the trunk link. Okay, dear. So there is a protocol called dynamic trunking protocol. By the help of this protocol, we can create the trunk link dynamically. Now, how could this be possible to create the link dynamically? So before that, you understand, you must under understand what is administrative mode and what is operational mode. Okay. So administrative mode, is basically the mode of interfaces. These interfaces modes are known as the administrative mode. What we call them? Administrative mode. So this is the administrative mode. Admin mode. Administrative mode. Okay. And this is also the administrative mode. Administrative mode. And the combination of these two is called the operational mode. The combination of these two is called operational mode. Okay. That is basically the mode of this link. The combination of these two interfaces creating a link and the mode of DTP is called operational mode. Right. So if I talk about the trunk, you can dynamically create the trunk. How we can do that? The administrative mode of this switch by default is dynamic auto. Which one? By default, all the interfaces of a switch in dynamic auto mode. And on this side also, this interface will also be in dynamic auto mode. Okay. Dynamic auto mode. The combination of these two. What? The combination of these two modes is called the So the combination of these two dynamic mode is called the operational mode. What? Operational mode. 
operational mode okay so we can change the operational mode by changing the administrative mode that is means operational mode is the combination of of the modes of these two if i will change the modes on these two switches the operational mode will be automatically changed so there are two operational mode here either it will be trunk or non trunk non trunk is also called the access mode okay let's talk about how many modes are the administrative mode so we have four administrative mode these are the trunk access dynamic auto and dynamic desirable okay by the combination of these four we can create the operational mode right so how so if i talk about the switch by default all the interfaces of a switch in dynamic auto mode so that is means this interface is by default also in what dynamic auto mode right so this is also in dynamic auto mode and the combination of dynamic auto and dynamic auto is equal to what static axis so the combination of these two is the static axis okay now if i will change the mode on one side this is dynamic auto dynamic auto and other side let me change the mode to trunk so the dtp protocol say that the combination of dynamic auto plus trunk will be equal to what trunk so the operational mode will be changed from static access to the trunk link by changing the mode on one side the operational mode will be changed well this will be still in dynamic auto mode so that is mean dynamic auto plus trunk is equal to trunk so this is called the possible combination of ttp dynamic trunking protocol okay and if i talk about the modes of switches interface modes is called the administrative mode that i I just told you so there are four modes and all the four modes can create the create the trunk but some cannot okay let's go to the slide again and i have written up the combination of dtp so dear these are the combination of dtp so these are the administrative mode if one side if one side we have access and other side any of mode will be there if any one of the interfaces of switch is in access mode what whatever will be on other side the combination will be static access that is means no multiple vlan information will be forwarded if we have dynamic auto one side and dynamic auto other side the combination will also be what static access no multiple vlan information will be forwarded now if we have trunk on one side other side either we have trunk dynamic auto dynamic desirable the combination will be the trunk if we have dynamic desirable one side okay and other side we have dynamic desirable or dynamic auto if we have dynamic desirable one side and other side we have dynamic auto desirable the combination will be the trunk now the question is that how it will become the trunk so dear the dtp protocol works here okay basically what will happen that if your administrative mode will be the trunk trunk generates the dtp messages what trunk is authorized to generate the dtp messages and if on other side we have dynamic auto dynamic auto is made to accept the dtp message yes i am accepting your offer let's create a trunk link so it will accept the offer and create trunk link okay this is called negotiation process what negotiation that is means this switch is doing the negotiation with this switch okay now let's talk about further if we have dynamic desirable dynamic desirable one side other side we have dynamic auto so dear dynamic desirable can generate the dtp dtp 
message if other side we have dynamic auto so dynamic auto has a property to accept the message from dynamic desirable okay it will do the negotiation yes i'm accepting your offer let's create the trunk link so trunk link will be created okay so that is means either trunk on one side or the dynamic desirable on one side these two will generate the DTP protocol, DTP message, right? If other side we have dynamic auto, dynamic desirable or trunk, so these will accept this DTP message and in response of that, they will create the trunk link, okay? So this is how we can dynamically create the trunk link on any switches. That is means by default, we have dynamic auto this side and dynamic auto this side. If I will change this mode to trunk, what will happen? This link will become the trunk. Let's do this practical and we'll observe that is it working or not. Okay. So let me go to switch and we'll only change the mode on one side. So go to this switch, go to CLI mode, enable configuring terminal, select the interface F0 slash 1. Okay. Switch port mode trunk. Whenever I will press enter, you will see show, show interface trunk. So it will say that FA0 slash 1 is in trunk mode. What? This more, this interface FA0 slash 1 is in, is creating the trunk links in between these two switches. So this link will become the trunk link. If I want, if you want to closely observe that, moreover, you can go to switch, put a command, show interface FA0 slash 1 switch port. So whenever you will put this command, your switch will will uh, will show all the details regarding the this switch. Okay. So here you can see the administrative, the administrative mode of the switch is the trunk mode. Okay. Administrative mode is the trunk mode and the combination is also what? Trunk. So that is means it is it has done the negotiation with dynamic auto. Let's go to another one and put the same command. Which command? Enable show v, uh, show interface FA0 slash 1 switch port. Okay. Here you will see that the that the switch interface is in dynamic auto here we have dynamic auto but the operational mode is what trunk so administrative mode is dynamic auto but operational mode is what trunk that is means dynamic auto plus trunk is equal to trunk so this is called the possible combination okay let's change the modes further if we have one side dynamic desirable will this also negotiate with other one Okay, let's see. Okay, go to global configuration mode, change the mode. How we can change the mode? Interface FA0 slash 1. Okay, switch port mode dynamic desirable. Whenever I will press enter, so the mode will be changed. Let's see what will happen. Show, show interface FA0 slash 1 switch port. Whenever I will press enter, it will say, that your mode, your interface mode is dynamic desirable, but the link mode is what? Trunk. So that is means dynamic desirable plus dynamic auto is equal to trunk now. This is called the possible combinations of DTP, right? So here, the dynamic desirable here is here, dynamic auto is here, and the combination of these two is creating the trunk in between them. So the, this is how the DTP protocol work, the negotiation process. But if we will configure the static axis on one side, here we have dynamic desirable. Let's change the mode to static, uh, mode to axis on this side. So you will find that they are not negotiating. The DTP protocol will be generated from what? The dynamic desirable will generate the DTP protocol, but axis mode has a property to reject the to reject the DTP message and no negotiation will be here. 
if there will be no negotiation that is means there is no trunk so no trunk or we can say this will be in axis mode static axis basically okay so this is how the dtp protocol works okay let me change the mode on this side to axis okay enable configuring terminal interface fa0/1 0/1 switch port mode access so you will find that no multiple vlan will vlan information will be forwarded show interface fa0/1 switch port so you will see that that the administrative mode is static access and the operation mode will also become the static access that is means the combination of dynamic desirable plus axis is equal to what static access no multiple vlan information will be forwarded static access will no, not do no negotiation is here it will not negotiation will negotiate with any of these okay so this is how the dtp protocol works in between the multiple switches we can do the configuration also okay now let's move forward for the, our our next topic that is what encapsulation so dear all to add the vlan information the switch will switch uses the encapsulation process what is the meaning of encapsulation basically if we are forwarding the data from this side automatically the vlan information will be added to this data right or not then this data will be forwarded to this side the data will be received plus with the data we have vlan 2 information this information can be added this is called tagging this tagging of the vlan will be forwarded with the data but this addition of the vlan is called the encapsulation encapsulation okay we have two types of process uh, method to add the this information with the data these are ieee.1 queue ieee.1 queue or isl basically ieee.1 queue has a size of 4 4 byte vlan information but the size of isl is 26 bytes plus 4 bytes of crc trailer will be added but in case of this one four bytes of had uh, four bytes of vlan information tagging is sufficient so if i talk about dot one queue it is using only four byte of data and this one is using 30 byte of data so you will say that this is i that is means this will do the network slow this is this data is really high so network becomes slow but the, the data will be less the network become faster so we will use the dot one queue encryption encapsulation for the data flow okay so let's talk about dtp protocol further so dynamic trunking protocol we have just discuss about that okay so it has explained that how the dtp protocol works this is dynamic auto mode of the switch this is the admin mode administrative mode this is also administrative mode administrative mode the combination of these two is what static access this is the operational mode okay when you will change the administrative mode to the trunk on one side so you know that trunk plus dynamic auto will automatically become the trunk right so this is called operational mode so operational mode has been changed by changing one side only so we have only changed what we have changed only one side we have just changed dynamic auto to the trunk so operation mode also changes with that because it is it works on the possible combination of dtp this is called the negotiation okay so i hope you enjoyed the session have a nice day please share to your friends there